Okay, we're going to talk about the new new bait for Monster Lures, the uh, XL Squirko. I got a bunch of these in late October to use. A uh, really, really great bait. Um, caught some nice fish on them. We were just actually testing for the camera here. We had about a 42, 43 come up and try and poke at it at the boat here. But um, I'm just going to kind of discuss on how to use these. Uh, really important. Again, they all come with a split ring on the front of it, so that's already taken care of. Very, very important to make sure you're using a straight wire leader. All the leaders that I use are from Stealth Tackle. Um, I get the ones without the snaps on them. Um, just with the ring on it to connect it um, really helps get the bait going side to side uh, rod wise I use a 7.6 extra heavy musky innovations rod um, pro series but a lot of guys are throwing them on nine footers too um, I've thrown them on nine footers that that's the only squirrel you can get away with using a longer rod on if you're using the babies or the regular size I really recommend using a 7.6 um, really seems to get a lot better action but with the bigger one um, it's not as important to sink glide so easy that anything from 7.6 um, 7.6 would be the smallest you want to go and anywhere up to a nine but I recommend either using a extra heavy or monster heavy like the same type of nine foot rod that you'd be throwing pounders on um, will work, work great for this bait uh, real easy to use again this thing really really glides easy side to side um, just nice soft taps on it and it, it sinks about a foot per second um, just similar to a lot a lot of other baits and you can count it down and if you're really working this thing slow like I've been getting fish on the last few weeks and this thing will be coming in seven eight nine even ten foot down if you're working that thing really really slow I kind of using a white one here so it's easier to see for the camera but you can see that thing's you know it was first coming in there was six seven eight feet down so you want to work this thing deep let's say you're working out 14 15 foot feet of water count that thing down seven eight seconds let it get down and then just start tapping on it real nice and soft. Foot long, 16 inch poles on it, a little bit of slack line in it, and that thing's shooting side to side. Let's give it a little bit of pause in between each one. That thing right, right now is down seven, eight feet deep. It's barely ticking the tops of the weeds coming in. Coming up, just getting to the boat. And figure eight wise, once I get into the figure eight, I just figure eight it just like I would anything else. There's enough action with that tail kicking that those fish are gonna get a shot at it. There's, there's one right there. See it? Oh, yeah. He's still sitting there. Yeah. Right over the top of him right now. There's actually two of them. I see one right here. Yeah, there is two. Two fish just followed in on that cast. <laughs> one right over here. It's about 38 and a 37 inch. You're sitting right there looking at it. No, that one might be bigger than that. Can you see That's him on the camera? Pretty deep. I can't tell if I can see him on the camera or not. But uh, <laughs> I'm like, which one are you looking at? I see one right here. Yeah, there was two. That's only the second time this year I've had two follow at the same time. <laughs> But like I said, when you go into the figure eight, stop the jerk in motion. Just go into a regular figure eight, just as you would any bucktail or crankbait. The tail action is enough that you'll get hits on it. But again, back to working the bait. Just nice, easy taps on here. I got it up a little bit higher, so you can see that thing really working side to side. Do a short cast here and just kind of demonstrate how this thing. Fish right there. Like any of the other ones, if you want to work it, you get in, slide in a little bit shallower in the weeds. Is all you got to do is work it with the rod up. Just pump it with the rod up, and even even with how heavy that bait is, I'm able to keep that thing just below the surface. So if you drift into up on top of shallower rocks, on top of a reef, or in the shallower weeds, you can work this thing, keep it right up on top. If you need to work it deep, then just drop your rod tip down and, and work it like you normally would. But very very versatile bait. You can swim it deeper if you've got your fish in clear water and you got your Polaroid glasses on. I mean, you can steer it in and around the weeds. All of a sudden, I get to a patch and I need to swim it over the top of it. I just bring the rod up and then I just let it sink back down a foot per second and then drop the rod back down and swim it right in. Okay, 
size wise on the um, XL Squirco, it's 14 inches long and it weighs 11 ounces. So that's why you want to use, make sure you're using the extra heavy or monster heavy jerk bait rod with this. 